So hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you the hash rate and power consumption or TDP of the 1080 MSI armor here. If you haven't already, check out the video here to be entered into winning the Asus ROG Gladius mouse. As you know, on Tech Tuesdays, I do videos on technology, sometimes graphics cards, sometimes just general technology like a LED smart clock. But if you want me to do anything else, let me know in the comments and I'll take a look. Otherwise, take a look at my playlist. I'll put it all in the description below and see what you think. So as I've done already with the 1060, the 1070, the 1070 Ti, I'm now going to do the 1080 and show you the hash rate versus the TDP and give you an idea of what you can achieve. Then you can compare which one you want. I'll put the other videos in the description below if you fancy looking at them to see what kind of hash rate you can get and which one you think works for you for the price per, per hash. So let's start here on the base clock. This is not clocked at the minute, apart from the standard overclock that's given to it by MSI itself. The current power consumption here is 78 watts which is quite high, but we know the 1080 is quite power hungry. And this is one of the reasons why it doesn't work too well for mining. I'm going to show you how to mine on Ether. So the card we're using today is the, is the MSI 1080. This has got the Micron RAM in it. It's not the Samsung one. So this should give you an idea. The Samsung one should perform better. Give you an extra mega hash here and there. So let's get looking at these stats. So let's fire up the Ether miner, see what power consumption we're going to get. So this one wasn't really what I was expecting here. I'm getting 14 mega hash here on Ether and it's pulling 180 watts. So I'm going to try and change the PCI slot here and see if I can get a slightly better throughput because I'd expect around 20 um, and this seems a little bit low at the minute. So let's see. Okay, so I've taken it off a riser and I put it directly into the board on a PCI port and I seem to be getting what I expect now around 20 mega hash, give or take a little bit and it's running 186 watts of power. So I must have a faulty riser, it's not the card. It has been running at 20s, I know that anyway. So let's get started. So this is the base, 186 watts, 20 hash. Let's crank it up to the first clock which we're going to put it to 400 off the bat and we'll leave it at 100 power consumption. But we're not going to turn the clock up just yet. We just want to see what the hash rate is going to change with an additional 400 hertz on the clock. We're getting around 21 mega hash, maybe even hitting the early 22s and it's drawing 187 watts. So let's knock the power down and let's give it 100 core clock as well. So what was interesting here is the hash rates dropped slightly by 0.20, let's say. Uh, the wattage pull is just 188 watts, even though I've dropped the power 80 down to 80%, and I've turned the core clock up to 100. So let's try the other way. Let's drop the core clock down to minus 400 and see what we can get here. So we can get the power consumption down a bit more with the same kind of hash return rate. So the core clock turned down to minus 400, the power 80, and the core clock at plus 400. We're still pulling 183 watts. So I've put the power back to 100. I've turned the core clock back to standard zero, and I've put the memory clock up to plus 600. And we're pulling around 23 and a half mega hash here and we're using 195 watts. So let's drop the power off and let's add some core clocks see what it looks like. So what we can see here is the core clock is doing literally nothing at the moment. It's maybe giving me a 0.10% increase in mega hash, but it is pushing the power up. It's now 197 watts. So we're going to stop overclocking the core. We're going to declock it down to minus 400 and we're going to run with that as the baseline for now. My advice is on the 1080 from what I've seen, specifically on these 1080s, I would declock the core. You don't generally get any additional hash rate increase. It's, my, it's microscopic. Some of the other um, cards you will get a little bit if you keep it up there, maybe 100, that like the Samsung one, you did see a bit of an increase, but on this one with the Micron RAM, you're not getting any increase. And let's declock it to minus 400 and see what that comes out at. So you can see here, it's back to 190 watts draw of power. I've declocked the core to minus 400. And then we're still at 600 and we're still getting around 23.4, 23.2 mega hash. So core clock here is making very little difference apart from drawing power that you don't need it to. So let's clock the memory to 800, see what we get. I'm expecting to start crashing around 800 to 1000, but let's take a look. So here we're on clock plus 800, the core I've set to zero and the power I've set to 100 to give you a baseline. And we're pulling 23.5, 23.6. I've seen 23.7, it's just done there. Mega hash, not the massive increase. I am fine with the 1080. You don't really get that high an increase in mega hash on Ether, particularly with the core clock. You might find you do on other coins, but on Ether, as which I've been using as a baseline, you're getting very little increase here when you're clocking it. We're only going up point, or we're going up about what, two mega hash, maybe two and a half. And the power consumption is very high. This is certainly the most greediest card we've tried at the moment for the least amount of mega hash. I think the 1060 is actually outperforming this quite significantly for power, ROI, and your hash return. So let's declock the power, declock the core, and let's see what we can get. So here we are at plus 800 memory clock, minus 400 core clock, and a D 
declut the power to 80%. And we're still around 23.7. Like I said, not going to see much difference on this 1080 at the moment from what I've seen. It doesn't really move much. And we're pulling 192 watts. So the power is quite stable at the same rate. The hash rate is very similar, give or take one or two hash. So let's crank it to 1,000. Remember we call it, let's see if it crashes or let's see if it handles it. Let's see what we can get. So we can get up to 24 and a half at least because it's not very good for uh, Ether at the minute, this 1080, which was my assumption is what people are saying in the market. And I'm sure most people know already. The power set to 100, the core set to zero again for the baseline. And I put the memory to 1,000 and we're pulling out 25.5 mega hash. Decent increase for plus 200 on the clock. It's still running stable at the minute. Whether it would sustain that for a long period of time depends on your card. And we're pulling 205 watts, which is quite a lot really, to be fair, for that matte hash. So let's declock the power again, declock the core and see what the final level is. Yourself, you could include, you could add more core to it to perhaps get a bit more hash out of it. I don't, I'm just giving you a very baseline set here, very easy clock settings. So you could get slightly more out of it, but you're not gonna get more than 26, 27 out of this card. So this card's sitting dead on 200 watts. It's got 80% power to it. It's got minus 400 clock and we're running a thousand memory core. The Macron RAM here is running pretty well actually compared to Samsung does around the same megahertz. So quite impressed with the Macron RAM here. We'd have to see whether it was more stable over a 24 hour period, but it's certainly handling it here for this time being. And we're getting 25.2, let's say mega hash on average, maybe a little bit high, maybe 25 mega hash. So let me give you the final settings that I've been running with this card while I've been testing it properly. And then let me know in the comments what you think, what you're getting out of your cards, which brand you're using and which memory it's got. That'd be much appreciated to all the people I'm guessing who would be interested in this as well. So let's take a look. So these are the settings I've been running on this card. I find it to be very stable. It gets 23 and a half mega hash. Probably dropped two mega hash here, but it pulled in 174 watts. It's been stable. I've had it up to a thousand and it has been a little bit unstable. So this is why I've reduced it down to 23 and a half, 24 and a half. I wouldn't intend to use this card for mining going forward, not for Ether anyway. It might be okay in something like Zcash because now you get better memory optimization on that for the 1080s. So let me know what you think. Hope you like these videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all again later. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.